These are my tools for making great PS2 tutorials. Let's do this. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Project Phoenix Media. We got a really great PS2 tutorial today. And what I want to show you is how you can share like video files or music files. On today's example, we're going to be using a, a video file um, from your PC to your PS2, fat or slim, using SMS Player and using Windows 10. Um, back in the day when you had Windows XP, you could actually share files pretty easily um, using the SMB or the Samba Share. But ever since I believe Windows 7 and higher, maybe Windows Vista, the Samba Share functionality is broken. So this is the only workaround, especially for Windows 10, and I'm using 64-bit, and I'll show you how to make this work. It's pretty cool. So there's two things you're, you're going to need. One is uh, a test file, of course. So here on my desktop, I have this uh, video, uh, Jurassic Park. So I'm going to use that as today's test file. I know it works. I played it. It's awesome. Next thing is we also need a program called Rad Host Client 1.8a. So I have a link in the video description where you can download it. And this is what the program looks like. So I'll run the program just so you guys know, you know how this works here. So how it works is basically you have this program. And in this PS2 section, you're going to have to type in your PS2 IP address, which we'll go over a little bit later in this video on how to assign that. But let's just say that you're an advanced user. You already know what your PS2 IP address is. Great. Then the only thing you need to do is basically take like your videos folder or your music folder, whatever it's going to be, left click it and drag it into this program. Okay. So now we have a path that's to the folder that will be automatically shared through this program. Now notice that this icon here is red in the upper left hand corner. That means that you know the PS2 is not connected with SMS uh, player. So what I'm going to do is on my PS2 right now, it's right next to me, I'm going to go ahead, load SMS player. And in a few seconds here while the program is booting itself up, it's going to automatically recognize the network and this program will turn from red to like a green icon and there we go. And now what you do is as long as it is green, you leave this program open, you can go to your PS2, you'll see the folder share and you'll be able to play all your files. It's pretty awesome. But there's a lot of work behind the scenes if you didn't know how to get this far. Um, in my particular setup, what I'm doing is I'm using a regular ethernet cable from the back of my PC straight to the back of my PS2, no crossover cable required. Um, the same methodology will work if you're using, let's say, a router or a hub or a switch between your PS2 and your PC. That will work as well. Just as long as you know how to assign your IP address to the PS2 and also a static IP address on your PC just in case. So let's go over the networking part uh, real quick here. This was the tough part, you know, getting the program, have something to share, drag it into here. And so let's go ahead and show you how to do the network portion on the PC right now. So what I want to do is if you go into like your uh, network and sharing center under your control panel, basically, what I'm going to do is set a static IP address for my Ethernet card. I'll show you how that works. So change adapter settings, find your Ethernet card, right click, properties, go to this Internet Protocol version 4, TCP IPv4, properties. Here, use the following IP address, give it whatever you want. In my particular example, I'm using 192.168.1.11 for my PC, and then the sudden that mask is 255, 255, 255, 0. All this stuff, you can just leave it blank. It works okay. And then just in case, what I want to do is I'm going to go back and go to change advanced sharing settings and just show you what my settings are just in case so there's no issues on your end. So network discovery is uh, turn on and on. File and printer sharing is on. Let's go to the guest or public. This is on. This is on. All networks on use 128 bit and turn off password protected sharing just in case right so let's go ahead save those changes that you have not done so already so we so in recap we got the program it's running you have your your folder of whatever you're going to be sharing your music your videos your pictures drag and drop it into this program if your ps2 has the correct ip address and is running the program correctly with the correct network settings then this program will turn from red to green and you just leave it here on your PC, and then you hop onto your PS2, and that's where you have a lot of your good times. So what I'm going to do now in this next portion of the video tutorial is I'm going to jump to my PS2, 
and I'm gonna show you how to set up that static IP address and then what settings you need inside the SMS player to make sure that everything is running okay. And if you want to, just in case, I'll have a link in the video description where you can download the latest SMS player so you can upgrade your own copy on your like free make boot memory card, which is what I'm doing. So with that said, let's jump straight into the next portion of this video tutorial. Let's do this. Okay, so this next portion of the video tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to set up your PS2 fat or slim. So in my case, here's my slim Freemic boot and I got a ethernet cord running to the back of it. So let's go ahead, let's set up a static IP address just in case if you don't know how to do that. So go down to ULaunch ELF, press X. Once the program has loaded, go ahead and press select and we'll go to this configuration. So select, then go all the way down to network settings, press circle. Here, IP address, this is where you go ahead and set up your IP address for your PS2. In my particular case, is 192.168.001.010 or 1.10 basically. Netmask 255, 255, 255, And in the gateway, just in case, 192.168.1.11, which just happens to be my PC's IP address. Go ahead, save it, and then return. So that's good. And then the next thing we want to do is let's go ahead and go to MC0. Let's go to boot and run the SMS.elf. Or if you have a map to your main menu of free McBoot, you can also run it as well. So I'm running a program. Um, I'm looking at my computer right now. The icon is red, but momentarily it should turn green. At this point, if you press start, go to device settings, press circle network settings press circle and then here you want to make sure that the network protocol is ps2 dev slash host operating mode auto negotiation is okay and that's good if you want to double check your ip config dot dat you can certainly do that um sometimes this program likes to freeze for some reason so like right now for whatever reason uh i'm like frozen on this menu here and I'm pressing all the buttons here and I cannot get out of it. So maybe it's just a fluke. Let's go ahead and restart it one more time. That was odd. So just in case if you get into that same kind of scenario, now you can do what I just did. So let's go ahead let's go straight to Simple Media, Media System or SMS Player. And I'm looking at my PC, the program is red. And momentarily, it should be. But anyways, once you get to your device settings, once you have your network settings, once you have that all set up, then you can go all the way to the bottom and um, save settings here by pressing triangle and save settings, basically. Okay, so this time it did not freeze. My program is green, green icon. This automatically showed up, great. Here's my videos folder. So I'm gonna go ahead and navigate it by pressing X. Let's select my movie by pressing X. And then here, it actually will play. I can fast forward, I could do stop it. So let me just fast forward to wherever. Turn up the volume. So everything is working and I'm gonna pause the video. There we go. So that's how you share files from your PC to your PS2 using ethernet cable, Windows 10, 32 or 64 bit. Um, if you have Windows XP, you know, that's a different method. Let me know. I'll, I'll send you a manual. Otherwise, this is probably the best method to go these days. So if you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.